my relationship with money is uh, very long term and uh, it's a relationship of priority and um, i take care of my money uh, i respect money and hence money takes care of me hi guys welcome to dhans podcast in today's podcast we have a very very special guest that is mr kalpen parekh who is the md ceo of dsp mutual fund DSP Mutual Fund somewhere has an AUM of more than one lakh crore, and they're managing somewhere about more than three fifty schemes where they have a lot of passively managed funds, and at the very same time they have actively managed funds as well. We were so so glad to have him in our office and get to know his thoughts on the Indian markets, on mutual funds, and the Indian economy per se. He's an experience of more than twenty years, and you know in this particular podcast we'll be asking him questions around these topics, and we'll get to know a lot of insights about how he thinks about the Indian markets, and we as budding investors. Investors, what should we do about our investments and how we should approach it? So I'm hoping that you watch this particular podcast till the end, and I'm pretty sure that you'll be gaining a lot of insights about investments from Mr. Kalpen Parekh. Uh, thank you so much, Kalpen, for doing this. Uh, this is one question which I would like to start this podcast with: uh, Is that uh, I myself have not been, you know, able to establish a pro- proper relationship with money. So how do you see money, and what is your relationship with money? My relationship with money is uh, very long term. Okay. and uh, it's a relationship of loyalty and um, i take care of my money uh, i respect money and hence money takes care of me and uh, my relationship with money in the first decade of my uh, career when i started earning money was uh, partly volatile right. uh, partly it was like flirting with money and not really giving it the right, right. respect that it deserves but over time as you learn because you know i'm blessed to be a part of an asset management investment right. management industry where uh, our duty is to tell our investors to invest for the long term right. and uh, if i myself don't behave uh, right. with that type of conduct right. then i'm not being authentic right. so over time just uh, you know I, in, initially it was preaching to our investors that you know you should invest for the long term but right. then at some point i realized i myself am not a long term investor then this needs to change exactly either my preaching has to change or, or my own behavior right. has to change and i think uh, uh, thankfully uh, being blessed to be in this industry it helped me quickly fix my relationship with money and bring the dimension of loyalty and the dimension of treating it with respect and safeguarding it right uh, so i always say that uh, first you know uh, think about safety of your money, money. Uh, that will take care of it right uh, talking about flirting with money aaj ke youngsters bahut log flirt bhi karte hain but at this very same uh, time wo log save bhi acche se karte hain but i think kafi zyada ye problem hai ki savings aur investing ke concept ko log treat sath mein kar lete hain so how do you think about these two concepts saving or investing ke concept ko aap kaise treat karte hain ki mera ye manna hai ki i actually you know uh, compliment uh, the youngsters of right. today because uh, they are starting the relationship with money very early okay. uh, you know mostly we see people start investing after they have settled in life right. and after most of their big goals have been right. taken care of um, so you know maybe at an age of 40 45 uh, is when an average indian starts thinking about money right. but in today's world thanks to Uh, a higher level of awareness thanks to people like you who are creating great access or uh, in terms of investing products right. to consumers and conversations like this people are learning about money management faster right. and i think indians for centuries have been known to be great savers so saving to apne khun mein hai uh, maybe investing ka ye pehla daur right. hai jahan pe log seekh rahe hai right. and it's great you know in learning mistakes will be made we'll make right. mistakes but hopefully we'll learn fast right. and correct these mistakes so the fundamental difference is in in saving is that you know you are not spending a lot right. but uh, it means that the money may not be growing at a rate right. of return that it deserves to right. grow so uh, i feel that we should always keep in mind the need to invest right is because we are um, you know uh, in a country with let's say average lifestyle inflation of 8 or 9% right. so every year the value of our money goes down by 8 9% right. and um, hence our our savings have to grow at at least 2 to 3% more than that uh, and that cannot happen only by saving it in uh, very safe instruments in the near term you need to invest and the only way to grow money at a rate better than inflation is by owning businesses right. or running your own business right. now everyone is not competent to run their own right. business or doesn't have the capital to run their own business so investing in others business by you know investing in a good mix of stocks or mutual funds is a great way to uh, to beat inflation and transition from being a saver to an investor. investor right that makes a lot of sense uh, talking about uh, the pattern of saving aaj ke youth aur uh, let's say 20 years ke pehle ke youth mein kya difference hai exactly uh, with regards to investing and saving 
सो जैसे बताया मैंने कि 20 साल पहले शायद इन्वेस्ट करना पहले से शुरू करना चाहिए ये कॉन्सेप्ट हमारे माइंड में इतना इजीली नहीं था लाइक आई सेड आई एम एन आउटलायर बिकॉज आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग इन अ म्यूचुअल फंड तो डे वन से वो फॉर्मूला हमारे दिमाग में यू नो आ गया था कि पहला सैलरी आए सीधा म्यूचुअल फंड यूनिट खरीदने में जाना चाहिए अगर मैं मेरा पैसा बैंक अकाउंट में आइडल रखता हूँ तो बैंक का फायदा होता है एट माई कॉस्ट सो आई एम लूजिंग माई कंपाउंडिंग but that was known to very few people like us who were in the industry but for most other people uh, you know either spending was important or uh, or let's say buying a home was important in today's generation people are thinking about investing first uh, or or maybe giving equal respect to investing as much as to consumer right. uh, so i think that is a big shift right. which has happened i do see a lot of youngsters today uh, you know they may be engineers they may be doctors they may be coders right. uh, they may be you know uh, techies uh, right. uh, you know uh, like you and your teams yes. but they are also spending time on youtube and you know trying to uh, discern ki paisa agar invest karna hai to kaise karna chahiye to ye hamare time pe access nahi tha itna knowledge availability nahi tha awareness kam thi aur aur mindset bhi kam tha dusra amount of money in our hands was also less 20 years back 25 years back today um, the fact that india is growing the fact that uh, a young country is uh, progressing and seeing growth in its gdp right. means more savings in the hands of indians right. so uh, saving rates are high quantum of money in our hand is high access to good information is also That's rising right. Right. and simplicity of investing is also, also very high right. so it's a very different setup today right. than what was there 25 years back right. but jaise hum behavioral pattern ki baat kar rahe so india mein we know that people save a lot Uh, but there are countries like us jahan pe access to information hai but yet they are not very good savers so do you think this will help india to go forward in certain way see i don't know about the country right. i would always say that uh, focus on you first aapko kya karna hai wo aapko focus karna chahiye aur dusra like i said uh, see even in us uh, people do save but they save in an automatic way through their 401k right. plans and right, right, right. you know stuff like that uh, they don't have a concept of right. sip where a consumer sets up his right. own account thankfully india has progressed right. and uh, you know if you if you are an american citizen and you want to go to a website of an amc and start your sip you can't do that okay there's no uh, option available that option is not there oh. but that beauty is there it's such a simple powerful concept so india has leapfrogged in terms of payment infrastructure and uh, as you rightly said saving culture to hamesha tha ab dheere dheere investing ka culture bhi build ho raha hai right uh, that that makes a lot of sense uh, there was one point that you touched upon inflation ke bare mein सो इन्फ्लेशन जो हम न्यूज़ में पढ़ते हैं वो हमेशा फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट के आसपास होता है बट हमारे जब लाइफस्टाइल को हिट करता है तो आई थिंक उससे ज्यादा परसेंटेज पे हिट करता है सो व्हाट इज योर परसेप्शन एंड हाउ पीपल शुड लुक एट इन्फ्लेशन सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू मैंशन को नॉल दैट द रियल इन्फ्लेशन दैट वी एनकाउंटर इज वेन वी गो एंड बाय एंड सेल गुड्स वेन वी पे आर फीस फॉर आर किड्स एजुकेशन वेन वी पे किड्स यू नो फीस फॉर देयर ग्रेजुएशन एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन और वेन वी सेंड देम अब्रॉड or when we have our parents sometimes falling sick and we go to right. a hospital and when we get laboratory and tests hospital inflation i think are 15 so 20 all put together uh, the inflation that generally you know we encounter could be around 10% right. uh, and it all depends on our lifestyles right. and you know right. our patterns of living you look at electricity uh, you know prices right. you look at gas prices right. um, in between vegetable prices will right. shoot up so inflation is going to be a friend for life you right. can't take it away right. and uh, inflation is also like a hidden tax which right. eats away a lot the of value government. of our money right. thankfully the government has given a very beautiful concept called indexation right. it says that when you are investing your money uh, the value of money you know every year is coming down by 6 7% right. uh, which is the average the inflation is. that yes. the country's economic data collection right. generates so it says that you know your returns will be taxed after uh, adjusting for the right. inflation now uh, in consumers need to know about this that right. these benefits of indexation are right. actually encouraging you to overcome inflation and invest right. for the long term so that's the first point and like i said the second point is as long as our saving rate is much higher than inflation rate right. and the rate of return that we earn from right. our investments right. is 3 to 5% higher than the rate of inflation i think we, we are in a good situation, in good situation. Right. and our lo- tenor of investing has to be multi decadal right now if inflation is going to be there for the rest of our life hmm. our investment cannot be for one or two or three years right. that also has to so be there for the rest of our life the degree of investing the quantum of investing can vary depending on person to person right. our lifestyle our expenses our needs but we need to be very clear clear in our mind that inflation is going to you know come with us to our grave right um, hence our investing has to be long term makes makes sense so uh, when you talk about generating that extra 3 4% so ye 3 4% jo mujhe extra generate karna hai 
उसके लिए कौन से तीन चार या पांच सेक्टर्स आपको लगते हैं कि यू नो वी शुड बी कीपिंग एन आई ऑन दैट दीज सेक्टर्स माइट बी एबल टू यू नो हेल्प यू जनरेट दोस काइंड ऑफ रिटर्न ठीक जैसे अगर इन्फ्लेशन 8% है फॉर एग्जांपल और अगर हमें 11 से 12% रिटर्न अर्न करना है uh while i'll talk to you about what sectors do right. be like right now right. but they are seasonal they will right. change every few right. quarters or every few years right. but the starting point is you know having a diversified portfolio right. across businesses across right. industries of good companies which can uh, earn um, 15 to 20% return on capital okay uh, right. because many times investors who are directly buying stocks or just investing um, may not be aware of these concepts right. and maybe you don't even need to know so many of these things right. but it's important to first uh, buy good businesses and the definition of a good business is at least that business should earn uh, itself 15% return on capital okay. you can't make money by investing in a business which is earning 7 8% return on right. capital so so that's what mutual funds do they right. they screen out companies with poor return of capital and they capture good companies with right. good rates of return right. and build a diversified portfolio so my suggestion always is to start with a diversified portfolio Uh, it could be an index fund if right. you can't understand uh, how to choose the right fund it it could be a flexi cap fund it could be a hybrid fund there are many choices right coming to sectors uh, you know at this point in time um, uh, where do we see large pools of profits getting created for the next 5 uh, 10 right. years uh, you know banking and uh, uh, nbfc and banking is uh, always there given the economic uh, uh so economy may not do well also there are okay. phases when the economy may not okay. do well but generally the way i think about it is that a growing country will need lot of credit right and uh, a good banks select good banks right. who will provide this credit and who are able to raise money right. and earn a spread between the, the money raised and the credit given right. uh, will be a good opportunity uh, within financial services there are opportunities like uh, wealth management companies right. asset management companies insurance companies uh, you know broking companies right. then platforms like exchanges right. depositories so that there is a very wide ecosystem in um, banking and financial services so that is one sector right. where for the next 10 15 years we Should think well. um, select companies will do well right. the whole sector may not right. do well right. but the right companies will do well remember there is also risk in banking right. where for every 1 rupee of equity capital there is 4 or 5 right. rupees of leverage right. so it is also levered sector. Lever sector but that's one sector that we like in our portfolios another sector that we like at this point in time is the healthcare sector right. we believe the healthcare sector has a reasonable competitive advantage to be right. uh, a sector which can compete globally okay. as well as generate decent uh, rate of returns right. on their capital in india uh, we, we india is called the pharmacy of the world right. and um, it is at a point in time where the last 5 7 years the sector has actually been on the has india gotten this tag in, uh, lately in the last 3 to 5 years or this tag has always been there the pharmacy of the world it's been there for the last uh, 10 12 oh. years because you know india has this ability to you know constantly you know, learn from research everywhere in the right. world and manufacture at low cost uh, and india itself is a very large right. domestic market but uh, india also can compete globally right. and uh, sometimes we like a sector because of its prospect sometimes we like a sector because in the last 5 7 years it has not done very well in the stock market okay. or it has not done very well in its own economic cycle and is now you know waiting for a making that consolidation uh, phase yeah. right so healthcare comes in that bucket right. uh, i think um, uh, these are two uh, dominant Dominates. sectors at this right. point in time that we like uh, sectors where there are a lot of tailwinds right now in terms of action uh, happening within the country is manufacturing okay. engineering uh, industrials uh, tailwinds coming from the government uh, from from you know, you know government as well as uh, as the economy you know grows right. at healthy rates there's a lot of uh, investment that companies need to do right. so if cement company has to set up a plant or uh, a pharma company has to set up right. a plant or a metal company has to set up a plant a lot of ancillary industries are beneficiaries right. uh, so we like that sector in terms of its right. growth profile but it's also run up in prices right. so sometimes right. so the sector is good but the prices are not very that high. very high they they have run up a lot right. but these are sectors where so, so india today promises a very wide range of businesses available across sectors uh technology as a sector again uh, is 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 a sector where you know it needs very less capital again india has a dominant edge right and that sector is going through its uh, consolidation for the last 18 months or so uh, talking about technology uh, there's a whole frenzy about ai coming into the picture so wo wala part aapko kaise lagta hai ki uh, active investing ko ya fir active fund managers ko effect karega see whatever i have learned or read right. um, it says that investing is around uh, sound principles right Uh, of uh, minimizing natural stupidity right. not so much about leveraging artificial intelligence right. so uh, if we can uh, you know operate with discipline sound principles long term time horizon um, i would not get influenced or carried away by uh, frenzies of the market there are always these fads and fashions which will come and go 
what i would rather uh, you know see uh, with lot of optimism is the ability of uh, technology today allowing us to analyze data at speed right uh, in scale right and uh, you know try to combine the thinking of uh, you know the 10 20 best minds in investing right. and convert that into rules uh, right. using principles of artificial right. intelligence or coding for right. good rules creating great checklists right. you know identifying uh, you know good winners bad bad losers right. identifying uh, uh, companies which are demonstrating good behavior uh, without just uh, relying on human intelligence right. so technology today allows us to blend human intelligence okay. human experience along with data crunching ability right. and i think that will make investment management more scalable right. and uh, the the users of technology the right way uh, without compromising of uh, old fundamental principles would be the real winners right. so it will basically complement our existing processes it is i think so yeah all right that that makes a lot of sense uh, so uh, in the longer run we know that indian markets are shayad acha perform karenge uh, but at the very same time uh, in the short run we see a lot of global events happening kabhi us mein kuch hota hai to indian markets on a weekly basis impact hote hai ya fir as as we speak israel mein kuch ho raha hai to uski wajah se we see some impact so how do you see uh, the linkage between indian markets vis-a-vis global markets yeah i started uh, my career in the fund business in 98 right. 25 saal ho gaye hai right. 25 saal mein aisa ek bhi din nahi hai hmm. jab ye sawal nahi pucha hoga <laughs> because uh, har din kuch na kuch duniya bhar mein hota hai right, right, achhi right. cheeze hoti hai buri cheeze right. hoti hai so there is no year when uh, you know events will not happen right. and uh, there is no time uh, ever where you can predict events in advance right. so over time i have realized that uh, predicting these events or worrying about these events would be futile it will right. harm you in your journey of long term compounding uh, what is important is being aware that uh, every 2 or 3 years stock prices will fluctuate right. sometimes they'll fluctuate because of uh, local reasons sometimes they'll fluctuate because of global right. reasons uh, 25% of indian markets are owned by fis right. so obviously you know what happens to them will also determine um, their flows oh, and their right. behavior so you know, for a long term investor when um, when they put in lot of money right. our markets get inflated too high right. we should become more disciplined right. and uh, choose hybrid funds at such points for a long term investor when global investors you know panic or sell or they are sneezing and they are right. selling and getting out and stock prices are falling is an opportunity right. so i think um, uh, what happens is sometimes uh, uh, global markets will create long periods of stability for indian prices sometimes global markets will pe- create periods of instability for indian prices as long as you as an investor have a template or a method or a formula of investing by being aware that these things will happen and secondly if you look at evidence of the last 30 years of our markets every second year there is a 20% price fall right. every third year there is a 30% price fall and every fourth year there is a 35% price fall right. every seventh year right. or eighth year there is a 40% price fall right. and all these falls eventually recover right. so this is the pattern now if you are aware of this pattern then you can either ignore them okay. or integrate in your style right. so thankfully most investors and you know those of you who are listening are younger investors who have a very long right. runway of maybe 4 5 decades to invest and you are buying every month through sip right. so every time there is a correction in the market you should actually celebrate right because you are buying more units yeah um so in your early stage of your career hope that you don't have a bull market right because then you will end up buying at high prices right uh, so if you get uh, consolidation in markets you get corrections in markets right. that's a great advantage for a younger investor right. so uh, talking about this uh, given that you know many markets pichle 5 6 6 saal ke liye hi dekhe and i've been one of the lucky generations jisne koi bahut bada drawdown ya bahut bada downfall nahi dekha so how important according to you is it for me to see such events happening because according to me sab kuch uh, rosy hai sab kuch acha hai markets badhenge actually pichle 5 saal mein uh, 2018 aur 19 mein we had a very sharp correction in right. and small caps then we we had almost all of them right. doubling quickly between 2019 and 20 then again in 2020 first half we had a 40 50% right. correction right. and then all of them again doubled doubled then we had ukraine russia war so we had a 20% fall but again again, again markets right. have doubled so actually in the last 6 years all of you would have seen you know probably 10 years of markets right uh, so utar chadav aaye hai but right. they've been sharp and fast, fast right. so they have neither allowed us to panic for too long and get out uh, or they have not allowed us to you know really come in completely and be right. fully invested so i think uh, market cycles have been very fast and swift in the last few years 
um, um, I would only advise that don't uh, learn about market cycles only through experience. Right. Uh, also learn by you know reading history, history or happens. learning from history right. that over 30, 40 years, generally what are the patterns in investing? Right. When do you make money? When do you lose money? Be aware of that. Don't come only with the template that every year returns will be made. Um, don't go and Google best performing fund, highest yeah. returns fund, best performing stock because there is no such concept as, as because whatever is best at a point in time is also the worst, worst at the next point, point in time. Yeah. And whatever is worst today could also be the best tomorrow. Instead, search for what are the right principles of uh, investing, yes. um, what are the risks of investing, be aware of these and then balance your approach. Right. Uh, given say for example, uh, you're talking about you know uh, beating inflation, generating that 3-4% extra returns. So for a person like me uh, who is you know approaching his 30s, uh, should I go for a all equity portfolio because you know that is how I will be able to beat inflation or should I keep a mix of? Sure. Uh, uh, each investor's portfolio has to be unique and customized uh, right. to his or her need. Right. I cannot give a single answer. Right. Uh, I like homemade masala tea, you like coffee, <laughs> someone will like Starbucks. Right. So, you know, preferences can change. Right. Generally, it is seen that, uh, um, you know, owning businesses and hence equity funds over a long period of time should deliver better returns than right. uh, equities. Equity. The only nuance is uh, you should not buy a lot of equities when valuations are very right. high. We are not there completely, but l some part of the market is also very high. Right. So, you know, having some uh, prudence of 15-20% in, in bonds or investing right. through a hybrid fund. Makes sense. So, generally when markets are rising like, like they have been in the last two years, from those levels, if you just buy uh, a 70-30 hybrid fund, 70% equity, 30% mm -hmm. bonds, Normally, it has been seen over the next five or ten years. It earns similar returns as equity, and costs. the risk is very less. Not very less. The risk is thirty percent less okay. because thirty percent of the, the portfolio is in bonds. Right. Um, you know, keeping the same thought in mind, we recently introduced a fund which is a multi-asset fund okay. which invests around seventy percent in Indian and global stocks. Okay. Because I do believe that there are times when Indian we may not get a lot of Indian stocks, but there are many uh, similar businesses or better businesses outside, outside. and not very uh, expensive. Right. So by blending this, you are expanding your surface area of opportunities. Some bit of gold, because in the long term, gold also does 2-3% more than inflation. And some bit of bonds, which help you when markets, like I said, every second or third year come down, we can rebalance from bonds. Okay. So either um, if, if you have the temperament to ignore intermittent market fluctuations right. completely, right. Uh, assume you know there is a phase when your last five-year returns look zero. Right. And it does not move, um, you know, anything in your stomach and you are right. absolutely fine with right. that and you are getting new cash flows, right. you should be fully in equity. Okay. It's okay. okay. But if you are not one of them, if you are one of them whose ego will feel hurt that my right. 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 so right. so right. right. Normally, that's the best time to get money. So let me also qualify this with data. Uh, today, everyone who is, you know, getting excited seeing that last three year returns of uh, XYZ fund is up 30%. Uh, remember who earned that 30% not the one who's investing today right. the one who invested in March April May June of 2020 right. when the last one year return were down 30 right the guy who had the temperament to invest right. at minus 30 right. is the one who earned plus 30 yes or fund ka performance or investor ka performance is very different to that. exactly because so that doesn't co coincide many times because the time horizons are different right. fund performances generally happen over a long period right. of time uh, they go through highs and lows right. Um, again, a big error that many investors make is they embrace a fund at its high performance right. and they desert a fund at its low performance. Right. Most often, we need to do the reverse. reverse. Um, and uh, hence, you don't get the returns of uh, uh, the fund. Right. So, if you want to earn the returns of a fund, you need to marry that fund right. and not get in and get right. out. Makes sense. Uh, uh, talking about funds, uh, there's one thing, uh, you know, say for example, I have portfolio ki baat so many mutual funds when I have mutual funds, I have 10 mutual funds. And when I actually go and see it, I see that in one sector, the funds were allocated in the same things and the uh, stocks were almost similar. Thai. So, how, what, should have, what could have been my approach here? So, you are right that if you are buying 10 funds and if they are all the same, you rather buy one fund right. or you just go and buy an index fund. Right. And uh, maybe if you do the collective comparison of your 10 funds, if they are all the same, uh, whether that return is even beating uh, the benchmark, benchmark or not. Or not. So the appropriate approach should be having a good mix of funds with, uh, you know, broadly two different styles. There are right. two long term styles right. which in the long term have made money. Uh, you know, generally funds which invest in good companies, right. uh, which continue to grow very right. well. So that's called growth investing. Right. And there's another style which says that we will 
buy companies which are reasonable uh, may not be growing very fast but because they are not growing fast their stocks are also not uh, very Expensive. high right. uh, so generally it's called uh, value style of investing right. uh, both styles make a lot of sense right. uh, you should diversify your portfolio right. broadly right. around these, these two styles right. or or maybe have a fund which is respecting both right. these templates and uh, if your portfolio is split like this then you know the odds of your portfolio uh, doing better than the benchmarks okay. is high so there should be a reason for a fund in your portfolio right. not just randomly selected randomly selected right. uh, since you are talking about ki do se teen acche acche funds hone chahiye depending on you know what my risk profile is aapke hisab se kaun se aise teen factors hai jo koi bhi mutual fund mein buy karu whether it is debt whether it is equity whether it is hybrid i should look at these three factors aur uske bina wo particular fund mujhe buy hi nahi karna chahiye see again you are making me a doctor and <laughs> i don't think i have the skill set to right. do personal finance advisory uh, because i wish there are many better people than right. me so take whatever i say with a pinch of salt i can tell you what do i look for in a fund generally i look for uh, a fund house uh, which has been there for long uh, right. i look for uh, a fund house which has seen cycles or a fund manager who has seen right. cycles i also uh, you know try to understand the way that fund manager thinks right and uh, executes and um, you know uh, is that thought process very well transparently highlighted highlight and communicated right. uh, it's very important to know how does that fund manager think so that i can make a uh, appropriate right. selection and then whether whatever the fund manager or the fund house talks about are they authentic enough to uh, follow it and right. practice it in good and bad times and if um if whatever are their belief systems they need to live through it because there will be phases when the market behavior will be uh, against the belief system right uh, and many times human beings desert the willing belief system if temporarily it underperforms right. so i look for i have observed over time globally or in india the best managers are the ones who have very sound principles of investing so i look for are the principles of investing, investing sound. sound right they may be investing in old economy stocks new economy stocks uh, different sector right. mixes but the principles need to be, to be sound, sound then themselves need to be disciplined uh, to that another thing i look for is um, you know is there enough skin in the game does right. the fund manager himself invest extensively in his own can funds can we track that uh, how much the fund manager is invested i i don't know uh, whether everyone publishes that data okay. or not uh, but you may actually you can you know research or you can even ask uh, that fund house that right. what is your approach towards um skill in the game right. so like in our company we we made this small tweak a uh, few years back five or six years back where we said that all of us all employees of okay. dsp will invest our money only in dsp mutual funds, funds. Right. Uh, and not just dsp funds uh, no stocks right. uh, you know so all investments have to be in mutual, mutual funds fund because if we are preaching to the world that mutual funds sahi hai right aur agar hamare portfolio mein mutual fund nahi hai to then bahut bada disconnect hai right uh and i think uh, you know thankfully one thing i would say is that uh, while our industry is very competitive all competition of our industry is very beneficial to our investors because we have great breed of talent across fund right. houses um, whether it's dsp or you know you look at it um, i think the opportunity space is very large right. for a consumer the choices are very diverse right. it is just that you have to learn how to identify the right managers and then live with him right. through good and bad times makes sense uh, so off the camera aapne uh, ek book suggest ki thi hum sabhi ke liye so if if on sure. camera if you can tell about that book so there are many good books but i think uh, to start with um, you know one thing i i realize is that uh, if in the long term a mutual fund delivers good returns but yet many investors don't earn those good returns is because uh, we make lot of behavioral mistakes right. and errors in terms of our uh, journey of investing in terms of how we choose funds or you know how we mix funds right at the wrong time we buy the wrong fund at the wrong time we get out of these funds um i read this book uh, called the art of thinking clearly right. by rolf dovelli i think in 2013 and uh, it made me realize that um, maybe uh, it reinforced that you know some of the behaviors that i'm approaching for investing are not necessarily sound right and uh, it also gives you solutions and uh, practical hacks of how to curb the bad behavior and how to promote the good behavior so that you can become a better investor and actually since then the only thing i have kept in my mind is that the quest should not be to search for a five star fund the right. quest should be to search for the behaviors which can make you a better investor right. and um, i think that book opens your mind to a uh, lot of these right. things Thanks, and right. you can start a journey of discovering the right investor in you right uh, one last question before we end this uh, so a one piece of advice that you would like to give to everyone out there who is you know 
just started uh, you know their jobs or maybe they just started earning so one piece of advice that you would like to give so i would say the most important ingredient in good investing is time horizon right um because in the formula of compounding uh, t has uh, the sign of exponent before right. it so it magnifies the outcome right. it magnifies the outcome a lot more than r r or or p p, p right. has plus sign r has r has plus sign in fact yes. so we end up chasing r a lot right. which is anyways not in our control so focus on time right and thankfully if you start early uh, which a lot of you are doing and right. i compliment you for that um don't at least end early right so the formula has to be start early and late and late and uh, i connected to our brand dsp i call it don't stop playing oh amazing thank you so much kalpin for sparing time and uh, uh, giving us you know this valuable 30 minutes to share all your insights here thank you so much thank you great investments in the securities market are subject to market risk read all the related documents carefully before investing